Today we're working with the GT multi-tenant system using the direct select button panel. This particular unit is an audio only entrance panel with eight call buttons. What we're going to be demonstrating today is a proper technique for assigning call buttons to tenant stations. This process can be done with any audio or audio video multi-button panel. After the proper installation and wiring of the system, you'll need to power up the equipment by plugging in the PS2420UL power supply and turning on the GTBC. Please note the green power light. It should be brightly lit and solid. If it is flashing or faded, you may have a wiring issue. Turn the power supply off at this time and check your wiring connections. Next, we will need to remove the entrance panel's protective cover using the security tool provided or a number 10 spanner bit. Loosen the screw on the bottom of the entry panel containing the GTDA speaker unit. After removal, you can now access the rubber tab covering the program switch. Open the tab and then using a thin bladed screwdriver or the security tool, press and release the micro switch behind the tab. The occupied amber light will begin blinking. This should last approximately 8 to 10 seconds before the amber light will stop blinking and remain solid. This indicates we are now in programming mode and we are ready to program the system. At the first apartment station, press and release the talk button. You should now be in two-way Vox communication with the door. Hello, I'm in department one. Once communication is established, you will press and release the button on the entrance panel you wish to assign to call that tenant station. This tone indicates that the program was successful. Press the talk button on the apartment station to end communication to this unit. Repeat the programming process at the next tenant station. You can exit the programming mode at any time by pressing the micro switch under the rubber cover on the GTDA. Any programming done to that point will be saved. Once out of programming, you may test the call assignment of your entry panel. If you have made a mistake in programming and have a call button that calls the wrong location or that calls two or more apartments, you'll need to clear that call button at the entry panel and reprogram it. To clear the call button, press and release the micro switch on the GTDA to get into programming mode. Wait for the light to stop flashing. Then, press and hold the call button that is incorrectly programmed until it gives you a tone, then release. The programming on this button is now cleared. You may now program the call button as mentioned previously in this video. Thanks for watching.